nothing lasts forever. And I'm sure many of you have experienced that now and again. That includes relationships you have with your closest friends. In fact, they always tell you about the boy that's going to break your heart, but they never say anything about the best friend that does. Anyway, it always catches us by surprise. And by the time that happens, it's a rare case where the best friend forever is actually not forever. We've likely already experienced this. We've all had that friend in like elementary school, middle school, and we swore that we would ride or die forever or need to drop communication sometime in high school. We imagine our college friends are going to be different. And there's some good reason for believing that college is a pretty scary adjustment for everybody. That's why we build fast and strong bonds as soon as we can. Whether these relationships are founded as roommates, classmates, club members, friends or friends of friends, we've held onto these friendships closely and revered them as pillars of our everyday life. Surely a friendship like this is built to last forever, right? Well, eh, no, not really. Deep down, all we know is it's not. We try to hold on to the illusion of everlasting friendship with these kind of people, but because we are friends with them now, and why wouldn't we stay friends after we graduate, right? It's not exactly going to help the relationship to be like cynical about it and to go on into every relationship with doom and gloom mentally and one day it's gonna be the end. The moral of the story is not to say you should become a hermit and drop all your friends, but to remember it's college. It's important to put yourself first and to thoroughly gauge the sacrifices you make for them during your time in high education. I'm sure we've all made sacrifices for friends since coming to college. We've skipped a class to hang out with them, we've paid for their lunch, etc. Sacrifices inherently in relationship maybe even require one to survive. But when these sacrifices get in the way of our lifestyle, education, they become a problem. And it isn't necessarily restricted to college friends. This could be with old friends in the, or you know, future friends or even family members. It's important to ask yourself before making the sacrifices is if it's worth it in the long run. Sure, you're willing to miss your writing class and grab lunch a couple of times, but are you willing to retake that class because you spent like way too much time away from it? We take a lot of pride in how good of a friend we can be to those we love. But you also have to remember to put choices like this in the context of your future. Think of it this way, if you have been given the choice to make a sacrifice for your friend in exchange for your education, saying no will affect how they view you as a friend even after graduation. Will you look back at your decisions in hindsight and regret it? Wondering why you wasted opportunities for someone you lost contact with because they moved across the country for their own opportunities? Please, understand that this video is not telling you to blow off friends while you've made those that you've made at university because friendship may not carry on after graduation and they run the risk of distracting you from your goals. The friendships you make are important and they can mold you into the person you become and they should support you in reaching your goals if they love you as much as you love them. This is why it's important to put your education first and not make unnecessary sacrifices for them. Because if they're good friends, they will understand how important education is. Here's to the prolonged life of the relationship we've made and will continue to make at school. The important thing to remember, using these relationships down the line shouldn't be a sad premonition. The experiences and support they give us now and that they will give us in return will be cherished memories and reminiscent of the times gone by. As some of us graduate and make the next big adjustment in life, remember to go forward and not to look behind. Keep a life that you have one that could be better. If you like to watch more videos like this, don't forget to leave us a like, a comment or subscribe to our channel. Till the next video, bye!